All right, so tailstock of my Logan 1875 lathe. This is a quick video. I wanted to show you something I made in hopes that you could use it as well. Morse 2 taper, meaning it's stuck in there by the taper. The way you get this one out is you just rewind it and it ejects the live center, which is easy enough. This is a drill chuck, three quarter, it's a big dude. It's got a Morse 2 taper to a Jacobs taper. And I don't know all of what that means, but I do know that when you put it in, it fits nice and firmly. It's all good. To take it out, you reverse and nothing. It doesn't pop it out. So I was putting a block of wood right here and retracting, but that would just pop the chuck off of the chuck taper. And that's no bueno. So I made this with my 3D printer. It took about 40 minutes to print at like 20% infill. Definitely not a perfect bit, but it fits this perfectly in this groove well it's loose but on purpose so if I want to take this chuck out I can just take this set it tight right there and now reverse it and pop right out there you go so this is just a little deal. I will try to include the STL file in uh, the description of this video so you can use it if you need. I'll add the, the link to the chuck, some cheap one on eBay. And if, ideally if you get the same chuck and you have the same Morse 2 tailstock, this piece will fit exactly as you need it. And uh, then you can use it as you need and you can just leave it there I've been leaving it just attached here throw that in my toolbox call it good so if you've got a Morse 2 taper and you have a chuck that doesn't eject I would recommend downloading this and printing it. <clears throat> if yours isn't exactly the same, they're very easy to do. So you can always just make your own. Or you can send me a link and if you have all the dimensions, I could make it. Um, wouldn't even be that hard. Especially because it was just, you know, a ledge and another half circle. Uh, that's all I got for this video. Have a wonderful day.